Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Callie. So this is a video uh, that I'm going to do. Not everybody's going to love it, but I'm going to do it because it's been asked a million times and I get asked so many, to do so many videos about so many different things um, about myself and that kind of thing. So I thought I would do this. I get asked a lot about Sage and uh, Palo Santo. This is Palo Santo and this, if I can get it off of here. Ugh. Yeah, is my sage. So, yeah, see, I put it out on a can, like a, okay, there we go. Uh, messy. I have it out on a candle and it got stuck. Okay, there we go. The candle that I got stuck on. Um, so, this is sage, this is Palo Santo. And one of the differences between sage and Palo Santo is that the sage, when you cleanse, so I'll talk about cleansing in a minute, but when you cleanse and you use sage, it's like an all around cleanser. So it cleanses like the positive and the negative. It just cleanses all the energy. Okay. So then for me to explain it to you, it kind of like starts back at normal in a sense, right? It cleans out everything where the Palo Santo, what it does is it cleanses, it gets rid of the negativity, but it brings positivity. It, uh, it how do I, it, it like purifies like the energy around us and it purifies us and it, it, it how do I, it just brings in positive energy and the good things, right? It's good for creativity, for illness, for, um, financial, you know, the good, the good things that you want. Um, and this kind of just cleanses and gets it all out and, and that kind of thing. I'm trying to explain it in a way where it makes more sense to people who might not be, um, as, uh, edu not educated, but th don't use it and don't really know. Um, a lot of people write me and say, oh, I'm having this issue or I'm having that issue. Can you help me? Can you do a spell and do that kind of thing? And a lot of times I will. A lot of times I will um, do a, a, a candle spell or a banishing, uh, you know, spell, that kind of thing to try to help out. But understand, I'm not a magician and nobody is a magician, no matter what they tell you. Um, I can send my positive energy to you, my healing energy to you, those kind of things. And it may help you a lot and it may work and it may not. It is just what it is. Um, I love helping out people and I love doing those kind of things for people. Um, so, you know, uh, you know, just don't expect miracles, I guess. Cause you know, it's not like TV. I'm not Tabitha where I can just shake you know, squish my nose and everything's perfect. It just doesn't work that way. Um, like for instance, if you've researched anything about, um, uh, money spells, money candles, that kind of thing, um, <laughs> you know, it depends on the spell, how you do it. And it also, you know, if you are so much greedy, like if you're like, oh, I want to win the 3 billion lottery and this and that, you know, um, it could come that you find $2 in the parking lot and that is your money spell. Like it, it, it could also be reversed where you owe a lot of money. Like it, it's a lot of things you have to watch. You don't want to be greedy. That's my belief system. There's a million different ways to be a million different ways to, um, wor you know, I say worship, but to, uh, practice and that kind of thing. So it's totally up to you. Um, I don't, I don't always, you know, I don't do like, oh, I want to win the lottery. I might say that, but I don't do spells for that. Um, you know, I just, I'll do spells like, you know, to like make my life easier for the month or for the year, you know, whatever. I do small term. So I'm like, you know, for, for the rest of the month, can you please, you know, I do my spell, you know, make my life easier financially for the rest of the month, that kind of thing. Um, also, uh, what I love about this is when I do Sage, Emily gags, she can, I can do this in the morning and she leave for work and come back eight hours later and she gags when she walks in. I know you lit the Sage. I can smell it. It's a big old thing here. Uh, this smells better. It definitely smells better. Um, 
does it mean that you have to use this? No, you can use both. You can, you know, just use this. I use both. So, uh, you know, that kind of thing. This, the uh, Palo Santo, uh, you know, it. I use it for healing uh, myself or Dave or Emily or whatever, uh, you know, like our illnesses, uh, anxiety and depression and panic and stress and all those things that life brings, you know, this eases it and it helps. Um, I do truly believe. And, uh, how do I explain this? So one of the most important things when you're cleansing, um, uh, I know this isn't very, um, <laughs> aesthetically pleasing, but it's clean and that's all I can do for you today. Um, one of the things you want to make sure that you do when you go to cleanse, because it seems like these kind of things, sage and whatnot are much more accessible than they used to be. Um, I've been practicing since I was 13. I'm going to be 50. So um, I've been practicing for a long time. These things didn't just come to you. You couldn't order off of Amazon and have them. Um, you know, they were, they were hard to come by. Um, so, you know, that's something, what on earth is this dog eating? Oh, she's eating a sage branch. Um, so, you know, now they're much more accessible. So a lot of people see them and want to try them and that kind of thing. One of the most important things that you're going to want to know, and I'm going to give you a real quick tutorial, not tutorial, I'm going to tell you uh, a basis on how to use these if you're interested. The most important thing you want to know is when you're cleansing energy in your car, in your home, in a room, wherever, you want to make sure your windows are open. Um, a lot of times I'll cleanse myself outside uh, because you, <laughs> at Kelly's brain, you want the good energy to stay. Okay. If you're using this or you want the bad energy, whatever you want, whatever you're cleansing the negativity and whatnot out. So you want it out the window, out of the house. If you have your windows closed and you go to clean, uh, cleanse your, um, let's say living room. Okay. House, whatever. Um, you're just moving everything around. You're not really getting rid of anything you want. That's why you see people with feathers, right? They're blowing the smoke pushing the smoke to where they want it. Um, and you want that energy, like I said, to go out the window. So open the windows around you when you're doing it. Also think to yourself, uh, think about dust bunnies. Let, let, let me try to do it this way. Think about dust bunnies. Like when you go to clean your house, I like to move my living room around two or three times a year. And why I do that is because I really want to clean those corners. Um, a lot of dust bunnies, a lot of I've animals, a lot of fur that you don't normally uh, vacuum up or get, unless you're very anal. And I wish I was very anal, but I'm not. Um, I'm going to, come on, Luna. Um, so, you know, you want to make sure that you go to cleanse those areas, those corners that you don't normally get. You want to get your feather or just, you know, move your smoke in that direction and do those corners because negativity, uh, energy, you know, your room's not circular. So it goes around and around it gets stuck. It's there like dust bunnies, like hair, like whatever. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, do you ever open your windows in your house and then like all of a sudden you'll come in and it's like a little, like, um, uh, fuzzball in the middle because like it's windy outside and it's just blowing and all of a sudden you see like oh where'd all that hair come from dog hair cat hair what have you uh so yeah make sure you do those corners um your doorway uh you know around your windows what have you to cleanse do yourself right um i just think it's it's very important um and when you're done Another important thing, when you're done, close your windows. You want to do your closing. I have like a little closing thing that I do, just thankful and, and whatnot and everything like that. I'll put the, um, whatever I'm using, Sage or my Palo Santo, I'll put it out. And then you want to close your windows because you want to keep all that good energy in. Does that mean you can't open your windows later or what have you? No, but for me, um, you know, I, I'll close my windows, keep everything in the good energy that I'm bringing back in the positivity and that kind of thing. And I will kind of, uh, 
what word do I want to say? Kind of wrap myself in it for the day, for the rest of the day. Do you know what I mean? And then the next day you start, you can cleanse daily. You can cleanse whatever you want, but that's just how I do things. Or if you start feeling, maybe you start feeling in a week, you know, like you're like, oh, I need to cleanse again. You do it again. You just do it again. There's no like taking pills that you're taking them too much. Like this is a good thing. So that's it. I have no links. Nobody's, you know, sending me stuff or anything like that. This is all my stuff. You can see I use it often. Um, and if you've been with me for a while, you know, I do. Uh, and I just wanted to share a little bit of that with you. Um, if you want more Wiccan, you know, stuff that I do, let me know down below. I will gladly um, do it. If you have anything that you want to add, uh, know that I have medicine brain. I have illness brain. I have pain brain. Uh, I'm a mess. Uh, so sometimes I can't think as clearly as I want to, or I can't get the words out that I want to. Um, I write a lot. Uh, I write thoughts down. I write all kinds of stuff down. Um, one day I'll try to find all my pages, put them together and maybe have a book, not necessarily on this, but on things in life, things that I, uh, you know, uh, think about, but yeah. So these are wonderful. Like I said, if you're starting out, I would suggest this. You can find it on the internet. It is uh, P A L O S A N T O. Um, and it means holy wood. It means holy wood. And if you're interested, go look up like where it comes from and that kind of thing. It's like shaman. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's wonderful stuff. And like I said, I, I love my sage. I've loved sage since back in the day. Um, I had seen, we had went somewhere the other day, uh, the, it's called the Berlin flea market. And there was a lady, it was, she has crystals and she makes her own bath stuff and whatnot. And she had sage with, you could buy it with lavender and, and different things in it if you want. Uh, the next time I go, I might pick up one with lavender. Oh, I know what I want to tell you as well. I cleanse things before I use them. I cleanse everything I get that I bring into the house. Usually, I try to. Um, or I leave it out in the rain to be blessed that way, full moon kind of, like I said, that's all gig, a gig for another day. Um, but these kind of things or crystals or jewelry or small things, I freeze them. Uh, I will. And if, if I'm doing like a cleansing of the house, which I'll be doing later, um, when I'm done and I close the windows and I do that kind of thing, I freeze these, um, to cleanse them again, to be used again in the next time I use them. Now tomorrow may come and I feel sluggish and icky and I'm like, I just, you know, then I'll, I'll go to cleanse again, but they're cleansed. That negativity is gone. This, do you know what I mean? That's how I do it. I feel better doing that. Um, when I get anything, I put it in the freezer. I'll leave it overnight. Sometimes I leave it for a week. It depends on, you know, whatever I'm doing. Um, and then I go to use it. So, you know, that's about that. So, Okay. <laughs> I rambled enough. I hope this answered questions. Hey, listen, as always leave questions down below. Uh, my email's down there. I'm on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest. I'm everywhere. So you can leave me questions anywhere. I'll do my best to get back as soon as I can. Um, yeah. And that's it. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Anything else you guys want to see, let me know. Uh, I have a lot of requests for different types of videos. So, um, you know, that might be coming up. Like I said, I'll put it in the uh, description uh, at the top of the video. So if you're not interested, you don't have to watch it. Please don't waste your time leaving me negative uh, comments or that you may practice a different way than me or believe a different way than me. Um, we all have different ways. Uh, you may believe in a God. You may believe in gods. You may believe in nothing. You may believe, I mean, you know, you may worship just, it, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm a loving being. I love loving people. I am not, you know, this isn't to hurt anybody. So this is just how I live my life. So that's it. Be kind. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys. Let me know down below questions, comments. Uh, maybe you have some suggestions, whatever. I'm open. Have a conversation down there. Love you guys. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.